All right, here we go again. Let's have some fun. Here we are at a carnival, and uh, here's Mr. What's your name, sir? Mr. Peter Mui. Yes, sir. I'd like to uh, introduce myself. My name is Dean Dell, and how would you like to play a little game with me? Sure. Okay. Now, this is an interesting game. It involves a spoon, a cup, and a saucer, and uh, three little guys. There's one, two, three. Now, these could be cherries, they could be grapes, they could be balls, they could be any object. But this is the game. I'm going to try to hide these balls under this cup without you knowing it. If I can do that, you win the prize. Good. You will win a prize. Does that sound like fun? Sounds, Would you like to try? Fun. Okay, yeah. remember, the ball has to be inside the cup, and the cup has to be on the bowl and the ball underneath. Now, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to pick up the ball with a spoon and place it in my hand. Remember, the ball must go under the cup invisibly in order for you to win the prize. The only way I can do that is to use the magic spoon and make the ball invisible. Now, you can't see it. It's really there. And all I have to do is this. I can pour it right underneath the cup. Now, because I did that, remember I said, you win a prize. Right. So here you go, your very own sucker. Thank you. Prize number one. Now, I'm sure you're saying to yourself, how do I know I won the prize? Is the ball really there? Yes, it's really there. That's the first one. Here we go again. The ball goes in, whoops. Boy, this little guy's hard to place in my hand. Becomes invisible just like before. All I do is do this, and the ball magically jumps under the cup. And when the ball jumps under the cup, remember what I said? You win another prize. Oh, thanks. How do you like that? Two suckers for one sucker. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'll tell you what. The last ball is going to be the best. These have been fairly easy. If I place this ball inside my pocket, correct? Mm -hmm. Then it would be impossible for that ball to be under the cup. Would you agree? I agree. All that. right. If I place that ball in my hand, then it would be impossible for that ball to be under the cup. Would you agree? That's true. That's absolutely correct because it's in my hand. But if I place the ball in my hand and take the spoon, I can make it become invisible. And all I have to do is this. And the ball travels under the cup, just like before. And of course, when that happens, remember? I got a prize. You win a prize. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, that's right, I forgot to show you the ball, didn't I? Yeah. Well, there, uh-oh. Remember I said when the ball goes under the cup, you win the prize. Right. But in this case, give me one of the suckers back. No, I'm just kidding. The ball is under the cup. Now, I'll tell you what. Like in any game, have you ever played the ga game show Let's Make a Deal? Yeah. At the end of the game, what they do is they give you the opportunity to trade in your prize for what's under cup num number one. Would you like to do that? No, Would you like no, to trade no. in your prize for what's under the cup? Now, there may be nothing under the cup. And then again, there may be a bigger prize. So that's up to you. I want you to make that decision. No, I, I want to hold on to my, my prizes. You want to keep your prizes. Right. Are you sure? Sure. You wish you hadn't because, see, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> he would have won the big ball. Anyway, since you didn't win this, I'll give you one more chance to trade in your prize for what's under the cup. That's totally up to you. You don't have to be influenced, but go ahead. You can okay. trade them in if you like. <coughs> Good. Are you sure? Sure. Now, see, you should have kept what you have because, see, all you got was a lemon. <laughs> but in this case, it makes for a good trick, wouldn't you say? Yeah, Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>